Hey guys, Joshua Stern and Michael Walters. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams and our goal is to keep you guys educated about all things real estate, especially with current market trends that we're having right now. That way when it comes to buying, selling, investing, or in this case, retaining your home, you make an educated decision. Today we're going to talk about Fannie Mae's uh, response to the COVID-19 virus and some of the things uh, that they've put together. I found an article on uh, PR News recently talking about what Fannie Mae is going to put together to help um, homeowners like you retain your properties in the event that you lose a job for a period of time because we know that this is going to come through the economy. We know that this is going to have an impact. And you guys, I was doing this between 2008 and 2011 during the last uh, Great Recession. And so to see somebody like Fannie Mae and even HUD now, FHA, that is, uh, step up to the plate and actually be proactive with the plan on helping homeowners keep their pro uh, property is super cool. So there are a couple of details um, that are on this article, a couple of bullet points, and maybe Mike, you can grab some of those and just go through it with them and let them know what's up. Homeowners who are adversely impacted by this national emergency may request mortgage assistance by contacting their mortgage lender. If you're unsure of who this is, give us a call. We'll help you put uh, them in touch with you. Secondary, homeowners impacted by this national emergency are eligible for forbearance uh, plan to reduce or suspend their mortgage payment for up to 12 months. Yeah, up to 12 months, which is great. This is a little bit different than what we saw last time. Uh, another thing that I noticed that's different is that the credit bureau reporting of past uh, due payments for the borrowers that are in a forbearance plan as a result of hardships, um, those actually will not be reported, which is great because that's a big impact on our credit. Um, if we look at um, homeowners who are in a forbearance plan, they're also not going to incur late fees, which was different than what happened last time. So we had a lot of homeowners incur late fees and then they incurred interest on these late fees and there was simply no way to pay those things back. After forbearance, the servicer must work with the borrower on a permanent plan to help maintain or reduce monthly payment amounts as necessary, including uh, a loan modification and the loan modifications did come out of the last crisis and so it's nice to see that they're looking ahead at how they can make this work. Um, and then finally, if, you've, if you're already behind and you guys, we've already had calls um, of our clients who are in fact behind, uh, foreclosure sales and evictions of borrowers are going to be suspended uh, by Fannie Mae for at least 60 days. And like I said, guys, HUD or FHA, if that's who's servicing your loan, they're basically following very, very similar guidelines right now. So I'm going to put a link in um, this blog uh, text that'll get you to the Fannie Mae website. Um, and you can, you can do a little bit of research there on your own. You can reach out and find out e even there who your service provider is, or you can call us and we'll help make that uh, connection for, for you. Okay. So in the end, I just want you to know that um, Michael and I and the rest of our team, we're here to help you through this very difficult process. Uh, we take this very seriously and we will keep your information private. We can have just a one-on-one -on -one conversation about what's happening. We also, just so you know, our director of operations, Russ Fawcett, was the number one uh, short sale negotiator in the state of Utah during the 2008 to 2012 uh, great recession. And so we have a tremendous amount of experience helping our clients navigate this very sensitive process. So don't hesitate. Just give us a call.